How do you choose when to add and when to subtract to solve a problem? Hello there. Look, there are two bird nests in this tree. I wonder how many eggs total are in the tree. But I'm not sure if I should add or subtract. Come with me to find out. Kira has 14 balloons. She has eight red balloons, but the other balloons are yellow. How many yellow balloons does she have? Try using counters to model the problem. Since Kira has eight red balloons, click the eight to show eight counters for them. Now, what do you need to find? You need to find the number of yellow balloons. Using this model, will you add or subtract to solve the problem? You will add because there are 14 balloons in all. And the red counters only show the eight red balloons. So how many yellow balloons does Kira have? This time use yellow counters to show the number of yellow balloons. There are now 14 counters in all, and six of them are yellow. That means Kira has six yellow balloons. Can you solve the same problem using subtraction? Yes, you can. 14 balloons is the whole. Here you subtract the eight red balloons from 14 balloons. And the number of yellow balloons is the part that is left. Start with 14 counters to show the 14 balloons in all. Now take away eight counters from the group to show the eight red balloons. There are six counters left. So Kira has six yellow balloons. Mary sees seven squirrels. Jack sees five more squirrels than Mary. How many squirrels does Jack see? Some problems can be solved using either addition or subtraction. Let's use a model to decide whether to add or subtract to solve this problem. First, how many squirrels does Mary see? Go ahead and place this number in the model. Mary sees seven squirrels. This is one part. Now, how many squirrels does Jack see? Place this number in the model next. Jack sees five more squirrels than Mary. That's another part. That means the number of squirrels that Jack sees is the whole. So do you add or subtract to find the whole? Select your answer. That's right. You have to add seven and five to find how many squirrels Jack sees. Now, how many squirrels does Jack see? That's right. Jack sees 12 squirrels. This problem could only be solved with addition. You couldn't solve this problem with subtraction because you only knew the two parts. You didn't know the whole. Angel has 18 apples. He gives some away. Then there were nine apples. How many apples does he give away? Let's use a model to decide whether to add or subtract. How many apples does Angel have? Place this number into the model. Angel has 18 apples. That's the whole. Now how many apples are there after he gives some away? There are nine apples. That's one part. This means the number of apples that Angel gives away is another part. So do you add or subtract to find the other part? That's right. You have to subtract nine from 18 to find how many apples Angel gives away. How many apples does Angel give away? That's right. Angel gives away nine apples. You can subtract to solve this problem because you know the whole and the number of apples that are left after some are given away. 